Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 6 of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage, part of the Reignited Trilogy for the Xbox. So, now we have to decide what levels we want to go to. So, we can 100% complete every level here, except Shady Oasis and Fracture Hills. Shady Oasis being the only one we can't actually get all the gems, though. Uh, Fracture Hills you just can't get uh, to, uh, one of the orbs. You can technically get the first part of it, but then they'll tell you to come back, so I just never do it. I just do it all at once. Um, I think we'll do, since technically it's the closest level, we'll do Crystal Glacier. And then we might be able to do Skilo's Badlands in this episode. There we go, we have 1100 gems. Yeah, so the gimmick here is they keep freezing the cavemen and we have to help them. So there's really nothing here in this first little area. Spyro, the ice wizards have imprisoned our leader, Shaman Tuck. Can you help us rescue him? It is urgent. He has our tickets to tonight's hockey game in Colossus Valley. So Colossus, why, why did they call Colossus Colossus Valley? Now, the last one will just tell you about the power of the thing that we need to do, so we're not going to bother talking, you know what to do. So you just stand on the end of this bone, and for some reason it triggers a cutscene. The original wasn't a cutscene, but you don't have to come back. Now, there's no point of freeing these cave, these uh, dudes until you kill the ice wizards. Because they'll just keep refreezing them, and you won't really get anywhere. Now, these rocket things, you have to flame, kind of like those baskets in the first game, and it'll cause them to... You know, obvious explode. Also, what I don't get is why the snowmen don't melt. In the original game, they would actually melt. In this game, they just turn charcoal and vaporize. Like I don't, I don't get it. Like there's so many things that they ruined in this game because of things like that, and it's just sad. Also, you can technically jump on these bones. Kind of cool. This is literally just the icy version of Skilo's Badlands. What? Watch, we'll help you climb. Also, funny, fun fact, so you need to get up there, right? And there's no double jump, obviously, but you only need two of them. You don't need the other two to come and do that. I don't know why. And that was in the original, too. It was easy enough for you to jump up just with that. Also, if you want the achievement here, you have to deal with those things down there without touching the ground, and you'll see how we do that. I, it's a power-up we've used before. I think we've used all the power-ups in the game. Outside of one in a boss level that's unique to a boss level, so... And it's it's random if you technically get it, too. Like, you're not guaranteed to, and oh yeah, Moneybags is back. Can't remember how many levels Moneybags is in. I don't think he's in very many levels here, since he charges you an arm and a leg just in the overworld. But I think he charges you so many gems here that you don't actually make a profit from this level, which sucks. Yeah, don't stand in the green goo that's not water, that's like, just like acid or something, and yeah, we kind of don't want to deal with that right now, so I guess we'll talk Hello to him. Hello there, Spyro. I could arrange for you to cross this bridge for <clears throat> a small fee. Oh, I guess we make 200 gems off this level. Thank you, Spyro. Now I can buy that condo in Huracos I've been wanting for so long. Go ahead across the bridge. Yay, a condo. I do think that's one of the coolest things, though, that you pay for in this game. Also, this room, I don't know why, it just looks super cool. It's just a shame they don't use it very much. Also, we're technically at the end of the level. 
Wait, wait, that was one of those enemies. I thought that was a snowman. That's a snowman, though. Thank you for the one-up. Are they do you even call them one-ups? Technically, it's a life, right? These wizards also have really bad accuracy. Holy cow. I think it's because, like, their attack is, like, so overhead that it just feels, like, weird. Yeah, this is just straight up the end of the level, right here. This level is really short. Like I said, we'll probably be able to do two levels. We're four minutes in, and half of that was cutscenes. I know we still have the two orbs, but it don't take that long to do. I guess it's the last one. And now they get to roll this giant snowball down onto that castle. This one you do have to watch. It is a cutscene. Well, you don't have to watch it. You can kind of press Y if you want to exit out of it, but we're not going to do that. It's already 1230. This is the third episode. I got a late start on recording today, which is a bummer, but whatever. You'd think those guys could have got me out of here without rolling a two-ton snowball onto my head. Here, take this crystal. I traded some hockey tickets for it. Eh, I guess they're not going to the hockey game. And there, we got the talisman, which is like a spiky cr ice crystal. I believe these actually have quite a few gems in them. Yeah, 25s, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Those are some good gems. Now, our first orb we can do is technically just around here. So we can go over here, hop across this. Let's flame this. Wait, did I ever go back and collect the gems from the one that we blew up in that other spot? I think we did. I don't actually need to talk to him. Because to trigger his thing, you actually have to deal with this kitty cat over here. I think his name is George, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it's George. But I'm also collect these gems, and the rest of the gems will be down in the lower half of the level. Where did George go? Oh, yeah, he's up here. Which, by the way, in this game, it's actually kind of difficult to get to George. Now what you'll need to do is he'll bring you to these little fishing holes, and you'll have to flame a fish for him. You have to do it three times, but for whatever reason, he backtracks way over here for the first one. Instead of this being the last one, which would have made way more sense. And the original, the fish would actually shrink down. I assume they just kind of get vaporized. I love his purr. And his pattern's kind of weird. He also moves a lot like us. Are we part cat? Meow, I'm I'm cat dragon. I love how you can just like slightly hold down the stick and Sparrow has like this cute walk. There you go, have some fish. This kind of reminds me that in Idle Springs, that one minigame you have to do for the uh, idols. Or for the idol. You know, like part of that opening up the toolbox challenge. I wonder if he'll come and eat this. Oh, he will it just immediately eat it. Now he'll sit down and follow you. So if you just walk, don't run, just walk. He'll follow you back to his master. Come on, Mr. Kid. I love its purr, though. It just sounds so happy. I love cat purrs. I kind of wish dogs could purr, but oh well. Cats can purr, at least. So once he gets to about this point, it should trigger it. Yep. You found George! I'm so glad he's safe. I'll be sure to pay more attention to him from now on. All I have with me is this round, shiny thing I caught while I was fishing. You can have it if you like. Thank you, Shaman Talk. I wonder if her brother's name is Tick. Anyways, we'll have 26 orbs by the time we're done here, which is pretty cool. Alrighty, let's move on. Okay, I want to go back and make sure I grab those gems that were over here, because I really don't remember. Okay, I did. I just didn't remember if I did or not, so I didn't want to miss them, because, yeah, completionist, you know? Now, don't actually kill any of these things. They don't hurt you, so just run past them. You can't charge them either. I'm just... Get out of my way. So it looks like we still have uh, 72 gems left here, which is quite a few gems left. Considering they're all down here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's like a lot of like fives and stuff down here. Yeah, we're already at like 1269. That's substantially big. Uh-oh, we missed some. We missed a 10. Oh my god, don't tell me I did miss that 10 somewhere. It is up top, so we'll have to go back up. But anyways, we'll do this minigame now. Actually, are they even minigames? I guess they're challenges, right? 
See, then once you flame him, you trick it. These guys can also respawn. So you have to be pretty quick about it, so try not to mess up too much. Like, you do have some room for failure, and I already have the achievement here, so I don't need it. But, you know, if you want it, you can't touch the ground. Or I think it's like you you use it all in one flame breath, I can't remember. Or not one flame breath, one um, use of the glide, there we go. You have saved us all from a grisly fate. Please accept this orb as a small token of our thanks. Remember how I made a joke about his brother being named Tick? I legitimately didn't know that their names were Shaman Tick and Talk. That's, that's funny. Now we need to go and find that singular gold gem. Oh, never mind. It's two blue gem... Why, game? Why? What is with slopes? It reminds me of Wrath of Cortex in the very first level where we died more than any other level in the game, which is really funny. And there we go, now we can just leave the level and go to Skilo's Badlands, and then after I'm done recording this episode, I'm probably going to record some Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex, or not Wrath of Cortex, um, Warped. I think those guys are a little suicidal, don't you think? Luckily, in Skilo's Badlands, we don't have to pay money bags a dime. I actually don't know. I know we don't have to pay for them in Zephyr Breeze Harbor. None of the speedways, obviously. Anything like that. So, I guess we'll now go to... Skilo's Badlands, which I believe is technically level 2. I believe it goes Crystal Glacier, Skilo's Badlands, Zephyr, uh, Breeze Harbor, and then continue on. I hear you're pretty tough. I bet my cousin Glug, you wouldn't be able to make it through the Badlands without getting singed. Funny thing is, you don't actually have to avoid getting singed. You literally just have to beat the level. Also, there's a skill point for destroying all the cactus here, and all those guys, the cat bats. Well, actually, not all of them. There's four specific ones you have to kill. But, yeah. Also, you can use this... Uh, like these little rocks here to fire at enemies, except they lowered the height of the enemies, so you can just use your flame breath on a good portion of them. I don't think it's till the last ones so you actually have to use it. Wait, he lost his bone. Also, I'm pretty sure he can attack these ones. Yeah, they kept some of the attack animations on some of the characters, but not others. Like, I'm pretty sure you can't attack these guys. No, you can't attack them. You can attack, like, the side characters. Also, they all have cameras, which is really weird that cavemen would have cameras, but... Whatever. Also, these guys, after you attack them, their heads will explode. But if you can knock them over, an, uh, over a ledge like that, they're not going to be able to hurt you. This level actually also introduces a new gimmick that is going to be relevant throughout the next a good chunk of the game, plus a lot of Spiral 3. And that are mystery bases, but we'll, we'll come to that later, because we can't get to one yet. Now, we do have an annoying challenge over here with two of the three orbs here, so let's do it. Spyro, our village is being overrun by lava lizards. Can you get rid of them before they eat my little buddies? I'll lower the bridge for you so you can get over there. And see, once again, this minigame doesn't have stars, like challenge stars. And I don't get why some levels do that and some don't. And then they'll come back later on in the game. So you have to look for the egg that's shaking. So whatever egg is shaking will be the next one to hatch. Alright, so it'll be this one over here. Okay, then this one. Then this one. And then obviously the last one. And you want to prevent them from getting eaten. Obviously. Well done, Grasshopper. Take this shiny, uh, thing we found to aid your journey. That's what I figured out as a kid. Also, 
the pterodactyls that bring in the second wave of eggs are actually going to play an important role too. And yeah, more on the way. And for some reason... <coughs> oh, excuse me. For some reason you can't skip it. Alright. Alright, which of the two of you is it going to be first? Okay, it's going to be you next. Uh-oh. No, no, no. And we go, we did it. Thank you for helping us again, Spyro. You deserve another shiny thing. I was going to use it as a nightlight. Well, there we go. Two of the three orbs already done. Within the first third of the level, if that. Now, see those guys up there with bones? They're actually the final one. So, for this one, you're going to need this. So what you want to do is, we did learn this in level 1, you just aim it, fire it, and boom. And when I mean level 1, I mean literally Glimmer, the very first level you start the game in. It's funny that you don't even start the game in a home world, you know? I wonder if this guy will kill him. Oh no, his head fell down. Normally you can knock the head up there, but that time it didn't. So, Mr. Catbat, I hate to do this, but... You gotta die. Let's pop this open too while we're here. Weird, it didn't really make a sound effect. We need 16 enemies to trigger that ability, and that ability, on the other hand, is a new one. We haven't actually used that one yet. This part's kind of weird, because you actually have to hit this, like, skeletal wall three times with these fireballs. I know your normal breath and charging it won't work. Don't know why that's a thing, but whatever. It's not difficult. Nor even really annoying, it's just there, you know? Just one of those things. Goodbye, Mr. Catbat. We still need two more enemies, though. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure this Catbat likes to go over top of the lava. Okay, I landed on that, but turns out that also homed in on him. So now we can go back for that ability. Now what this ability is, is see it shows a shield. And what this is, is it's invincibility. It allows you to run on literally any surface, get hit by any enemy, and you just straight up won't take damage. Which is a pretty cool gimmick. It's not used very much, it's... Actually, I think it's only used in this world, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think it's even used in any other world. Also, I forgot about the cactus. My bad. See, now this guy can't even attack us if he wanted to, so let's go over here and grab these gems that are kind of in the lava. Yep, there were gems hidden over there. As a kid, I always used to forget those, and this lava is so bright, holy lord. My poor eyeballs, man. Now for this guy, you don't need invincibility. What you need is you just need to flame him and the bone will launch over here. We only need three more, and we can do whatever needs to be done with those bones. I wonder what it could possibly be. Man, these things used to make a cool sinking sound in the original. I'm sad they got rid of it. They still sink, yeah, but they don't make the weird goopy sound anymore. They just sound like your typical, like, watery platforms for whatever reason, despite it being bone and lava, which makes no sense. Yeah, and see, there's the mystery vase. Now, the gimmick with the mystery vase is you actually have to follow it back to the beginning of the level, or relatively close to the beginning of the level. And once you break it the final time, a bunch of gems will pop out, and that'll allow you to get all the gems for the level, obviously. Now get out of here. Now I believe this is where the next skill point we can get is. Actually, I'm pretty sure we can finish both skill points here. Yep, there's the first skill point. And then the last skill point will be dealing with these cat losers. And like I said, for whatever reason, they made these home in this game. In the original, they didn't home, so it was a little bit more difficult of a challenge. Plus, this actually wouldn't spawn in the same spot. There we go. There's the skill point. If I'm going to say anything about that challenge, it's a little too easy. Also, that didn't really do much, don't you think? Like, that barely did anything. Now we can take this weird little pathway over here. And go and grab some. We're gonna have to backtrack for that single gem, though. Thank you, Spyro. Now I can put my friend back together. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. A fairy left it with me a little while ago. 
Your name is Uga. I wonder if that guy... No, that's Gronk or whatever his name is. Grok and Gronk or Grunk and Grok. Glug. Glug? Grug? Oh yeah, this little skeleton dude. They ruined his dance. He used to do a lot more disco and stuff like that, but now he does the floss because... Got a meme with the children, you know? Like, man, look the, the dance moves that kids are into nowadays, just a lot of kids, like, and now, why I say kids is because, technically, if you're watching this, you're on YouTube, which has, like, an 18 rating anyway, because I always put my channel not for kids, and why I do that is so I can play games like God of War and stuff like that and not be flagged as, like, an inappropriate content creator, so that's the thing, I guess, but... Um, yeah, this is one of those things that you kind of have to watch out for when you're making a YouTube channel. If you're going to play a lot of horror games or, like, a lot of mature stuff, anything like that, make sure you set your channel not for kids. That way you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. And it's just, it's just a precautionary thing that you have to do. Now, we did break this open, and the vase is also right here, so most of the, uh, gems should be right here at the end. Yeah, that's a good chunk of gems right there. Plus the few that you get up here. Oh, I'm pretty sure a gem fell down, right? Yeah, it fell down. And there we go, that's all 400 gems and all orbs. So now we just have to go get the talisman, which I believe is actually worse than the original game. They actually removed a lot of detailing that they had on the original. Like, for example, this talisman is going to be a bone, because, like, if you go here, you can see what it is. It used to have, like, a little feather on it wrapped around it, but now, for whatever reason, it doesn't. Excellent. You made it through the Badlands. I knew I'd win that bet. My cousin Gronk is a fool to bet against a dragon. Take this talisman for helping me out. And thank you. It's literally just a golden bone. It is super boring, and they did that with a few talismans. But there we go. We beat another level, and that'll be the end of this episode. Ah, <laughs> 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 yeah, that's funny. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon in the link below. You guys can pick out what game we play next on the channel, and I'll see you guys all next time when we probably take on Zephyr and the Speedway, because Zephyr is going to be one of those levels that takes a long time because it's the biggest level in the game. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.